Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, I hope. But, long story short, I needed a new weed eater and I was looking into the electric ones. I know what you may be thinking. Electric weed eaters are for sissy man. Well, yeah, okay, a year ago, I would have told you the same thing. Get a gas one, real men have a gas one. But, now I live in the city, I have a small yard, living in a neighborhood, and I don't feel like going through the hassle of a gas-powered weed eater. And I actually looked into the ones with a cord, but uh, the technology on the battery-powered ones has really come a long ways. And so I pretty much went to Lowe's and bought the most powerful one they had. That being this Ego brand. What does it even say here? Power Combo Kit. What's the power on this thing? That's what we got to know about is the power. Um, it's got a five year warranty. That definitely uh, helped me pull the trigger on this one. I'm looking for the power. I know what it says it on here. Charges in uh, 50 minutes, that's cool. Um, and this one also came with the, the uh, leaf blower combo. It was only gonna be, uh, it was on sale for a dollar, or a dollar, I wish it was a dollar. 200 bucks for just the weed trimmer, but for an extra 50 bucks or something, it came with the leaf blower. My wife said, get the leaf blower too. So I said, whatever. Uh, there is what I was looking for. This one has got 56 volts. So the one that I was actually looking at was a cobalt that was a 40 volt one. Uh, but this one being on sale, it's almost the same price for the 56 volt one. So I'm gonna take this out of the box, put it together, and just show you guys some quick trimming with it. Another thing that sold me on this, this one's supposed to have something about a rapid reload. I don't know about you guys, but one of the things that aggravates me about weed eaters is I never can figure out the bump head right. So I'm spending way too much time trying to feed it right. This one supposedly is uh, supposed to be easy. So let's see what happens with this one. All right, so. Nobody reads the directions, but I'm gonna keep these handy just in case I run into some problems. What I wanna do first is, uh, okay, there's some kind of handle, the, the middle of the grip. What I wanna do first is plug the batteries in uh, just to make sure we got some juice. So that looks like the charger. I said batteries, I'm assuming it only comes with one. Wow, that's interesting. It came like that. Hmm. Well, set that there. And then, uh, there's the blower. Don't tell me it doesn't come with a battery. Surely it comes with a battery. Here, here we go. I think this is the battery. That would have been a rip if I bought it with no battery. All right. So there is the battery. So we got the trimmer here. Boop. And then we got the blower over here somewhere. Here it is, right in front of me. And where's the battery going? This one. Same kind of thing. Oh, battery actually shipped with some juice in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's got some boogie. Just about blew my hat off. But, I'm still going to charge this up. Going to get the weed eater put together. And we'll just show you real quick how this sucker works and if it's any count. Alright, so I'm going to show you something real quick. This is the hinged model, so it comes hinged in the middle right there. So it'll fit in that big old box, but I'm going to tell you right now. That was super annoying to me, that, that bolt on the right took me 10 minutes. Because of the angle and everything, you just have to do like a quarter turn at a time. Now I'm about to go do the other side, but my time is short. I don't have time to be fiddling with those bolts, but that's just kind of a pain right there. I just soon have bought the straight shaft one and not have to fiddle with those bolts and waste a bunch of time. All right, so this is a piece of feedback for the ego people. 
when you guys are packaging this handle you're shipping it out with these bolts already installed so when me the customer gets it I'm having to take this handle apart and then put it on the shaft of this weed eater uh, so I just had to waste 10 more minutes of my day taking this apart where if you shipped it with the bolts and the two pieces I could have just already had this sucker slapped on but I get it easier for shipping and all that but it's making the uh, time to put this together much more difficult people like me I have zero free time so if I'm sitting here fiddling with this extra time that's something else that I'm not able to get done that I need to get done so putting this together is taking more time than I expected it to it's not hard but it's just taking time I know, I know there's plenty of people that have lots of free time to just fart around and weed eat and play in the yard but I'm not one of those people all right so I got her all put together here so I had to put the two bolts in here to make that hinge one piece and then I had to undo these four and then put them back together wrapped around the uh, pipe there whatever then I, I actually put this guard on which is just those two bolts I'm usually not a fan of the guards but I put it on here to see if I like it it's nice to have that little blade on there to cut the string from being too long but battery's been over here charging for about half an hour blinking green means it's still charging but I'm gonna take it off and give her a rip and see how she goes here and just show you guys what it's like all right so pop the battery off the charger give you guys an up-close look at what I'm doing here slide that baby up on there one thing I already noticed I just got this out of the box and laid it down on the concrete this exterior plastic is softer than I would like to see so it's already terribly scuffed just from laying it down on this concrete here but there's a power button here on the back I'm guessing we need to push that baby the green light came on then it's got your standard switch hold this down then give her the banes here on the trigger here let's uh give her a little squeeze here and see what she sounds like <laughs> Super quiet compared to a two-stroke gasser. Hmm. Is there any kind of turbo button? Or is that all she's got? I think that's all she's got. Same thing on the bottom here. So that plastic is already all kind of scuffed up and marked up. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe that's too much uh, nitpicking for a $200 electric uh, weed eater. But... Let's set this thing up and just cut some grass with it real quick. See what we think about it. I have no idea until I see. I feel like I would want it to spin faster than that, but I don't know. If it's not working, maybe we'll let the battery get a full charge. But let's see how she does. All right, so this is a little bit of a hill right here that's too steep to mow. Let's see what this old electric little thingy can do here. First 10 seconds of using this thing, I'm already super impressed. The sound being quiet, I think, gave the illusion of not being very powerful. But you saw right there, at least I hope you saw, if my camera was right. This thing is just eating right through that grass. I'm gonna do a little bit more and just show you guys a little bit more footage, but I'm sold on this thing so far. It's getting kind of windy out here. Do some more on this little hill right here.
All right, so it's getting a little windy. You guys saw right there, the wind blew my daggum camera over. But using this thing right off the bat, not even a full power charge, I'm impressed, I'm sold on it. Never tried one of these before. Like I said, I think just the, not hearing the boom, boom, boom. You know, you're driving the hot rod, you like to give that sucker the beans and you can feel that rumble of power, you know what I'm saying? Well, electric doesn't have the rumble. It just gets down to business and it's pretty quiet, so. So far, hey man, I'm sold on it. And it coming with a warranty. You know, you can call me a sissy all you want for using an electric weed eater, but I'm sold on it. Uh, now that I got that thing put together, I think it's gonna save me a whole lot of time and trouble not having to hassle with a, a gas powered one. But I'm gonna do a little bit more weed eating. Then I'll slap the battery on this blower that came with it. Show you guys how that thing works. All right, so I've been weed eating for about 20 minutes and you don't want to have to go charge your battery to do the blowing off everything after you weed eat it. So after 20 minutes of using that, we'll see what kind of air juice power she's got on this sidewalk here. Now, yeah, I didn't fully charge the battery before I started weed eating, but hey, it's just some real life stuff. See what kind of juice she's still got in her after weed eating for 20 minutes. So, I'm impressed. It definitely doesn't have the uh, air power that it had right when I first slapped it on this sucker earlier, but she blow this sucker right here in my face, see what she feels like. I'll try this. <laughs> Still enough to blow my hat off. So, hey, I'm impressed with this thing. I'm going to go uh, finish up the weed eating and stuff here real quick, but hey, the uh, the question is going to be the longevity of this sucker. You guys are uh, up there. I'm in the dark. Let me bring you down here. The question is going to be the longevity, which this is my first day using this sucker, right? So I can't tell you anything about that. Stay tuned for a probably a six month down the road video or something. But hey, so far, these 56 volt Ego babies. Hey, I dig it. I'm just a regular old dude. Nobody's paying me to say this, but the one thing that I wish I had bought, I thought I had bought it. They make a trimmer that has a power assisted string load. That's what I thought I bought, but I bought the wrong model. Anyways, uh, assuming I can figure out how to load that bump head, which I absolutely hate bump heads because I never can load them right, but hopefully I can load that thing right and we'll be good as gravy but hey I'm enjoying this electric weed eater y'all check out the egos 56 volts working out good for me all to work out good for you appreciate y'all don't forget to subscribe if you like the content we'll see you on the next one hootie, hootie, hootie.